What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate and this is it. This is the last video of the year and it's only fitting that we talk about the best plugins of the year for After Effects. Now I know I talk about all kinds of plugins ranging from niche ones to bundles to the ones that do just one thing really, really well, but strap yourself in because we are in for a wild ride. On this list range from innovative to versatile to just downright dope. And honestly, I am super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. I'm just mind blown with the type of plugins that are coming out because when I started After Effects about 10 years ago, there was definitely not the caliber of stuff that we're seeing in 2019. So that's exactly where we're getting into. Okay, so first up on the list at number five, we have a plugin that has just like freaking blown my mind every time I look at the results. That's right, I'm talking about Lockdown. Now this plugin first made an appearance on A Scripts and I think I saw it on their Instagram way, way back, just showing some of the cool things that you can do with it. I know that a lot of you are probably familiar with tracking, especially if you follow the tutorials that we did in which we do all kinds of tracking things, just putting fire in our hands. But when it comes to mesh deformations, this is where Lockdown shines because not only are you just able to track something in After Effects, but now you're able to do really cool warps and mesh deformations to the things like on this guy's shirt, he's able to put on this motion graphics and it looks like it's really printed on there. The lock down is able to not only handle advanced tracking in After Effects, but also handle advanced mesh deformations or warping effects. So you can see just like the results from this, I've never seen anything look doper. I have seen pretty similar results coming out of things like Spark AR by Facebook or even Snapchat filters, but all of those things are kind of limited to entirely different application. Whereas if you're comfortable working in After Effects, now you're gonna be able to take that same power of being able to apply mesh deformation to something else like maybe it's a shirt or maybe it's a face or who knows. Really the possibilities that this plugin gives you adds a whole nother layer to After Effects. I know it might be pretty niche for some people. I do a lot of VFX and motion graphics, so when I saw this, it just blew my mind. But at a super fat price point of about $250, that makes it probably the most expensive plugin on this list. But trust, when it comes to being able to do something like this, I think right now this is the only one innovative enough that is able to do it. The amazing results that you're able to get with mesh deformations natively in After Effects with this plugin, hands down, amazing. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so number four on the list is one of those super stacked plugins that is useful for a whole bunch of situations. Now, after installing the Create Pack within After Effects, I instantly noticed how my game leveled up. And every time that I open it up, I'm just like freaking blown away by all of the stuff that comes with it from the animated elements to the different presets, responsive typography, social media environments and mockups, customizable 3D scenes just make this plugin well worth a few hundred but, but don't worry because Aloha VFX has got your back by making this plugin at a ridiculous price point of only $20. Wait, scratch that, it's really $19, but you know, 20 with tax and all that shit. Yeah, so I've been super impressed with it. And if you're wondering what this pack comes with, well, there's over 3,600 different things, but the things that I love most about it, it's easy to use with Motion Bro. Probably heard me talk about before, but if you haven't, it's what allows you to do a hover preview within After Effects and a one-click apply, and even some native customized to the templates and to the scenes without even having to touch anything down in the timeline or in the effects panel. And hands down, it is just a super clean experience overall. I just love all of the animations and all the things that it lets me do. It's by far easily one of my favorites of the year. I saw that there's even over 2,400 sales on Video Hive. It's probably safe to say that a bunch of other motion designers love this plugin as well. The Create Pack from Aloha VFX is super dope. It's super stacked, 3,600 plus elements within After Effects is just like insane. Oh, and also the fact that this thing is only $20 and it's super easy to use. I just love it so much. And for that reason, it gets a well-earned Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so stepping up to the plate at number three on the list, 
we have trendy motion graphics package number three is also a super stacked plugin off the bat it might look pretty similar to create pack but trust when i say that if you look a little bit closer you're gonna notice that even though this pack comes with over 3700 different elements they're actually different between the two in terms of style and animation choices and there's even a few key elements that make these way different depending on what kind of workflow you're doing so let's just break this down really quick easily one of the major differences between trendy motion graphics and the create pack is trendy motion graphics has over 1000 elements that are able to be used with premiere so if you're a premiere user and don't even touch after effects you're able to utilize things like mogurt templates in order to make pretty good looking lower thirds and titles and posts and whatnot without even having to touch after effects now i know personally even though i use after effects i do a lot of short form and long form content that has me switching between the programs back and forth one of the coolest features is just being able to not have to go into after effects and do an entirely different render being able to have all those customizations inside of premiere but even beyond that when you look deeper inside of it i gotta say that the overall style scenes the typography the lower thirds the titles the social media posts the native media player which is like super cool, makes this plugin one of my favorites of the year. At first, I gotta say that I am a, a motion bro kind of guy, but Adam has been impressing me every time that I open it up. If you don't know what Adam is, it's basically the hover preview, one click to apply, customization environment slash interface for trendy motion graphics. It runs super fast and has just about everything that I could have possibly wanted inside of a pack. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so right now we are getting into the last two and I wanna make sure that you guys get this disclaimer before we get any deeper into this list. So just note that this list is in no way in order of importance. These plugins, presets, bundles, whatever you wanna call them are just too dope to compare like that. I can't stress to you enough just how important it is for you to make sure that you check out these plugins and decide for yourself what's gonna work best for your workflow. Now, since I do VFX and motion graphics, these are just plugins that I found to save me a whole bunch of time and really be like perfect from my After Effects arsenal, but you guys are building your own and whatever projects you're working on may have you choosing one thing over another. Like maybe you don't even need, you know, mesh deformation. So already off the bat, lockdown might not be as useful for you. These plugins I've just found to have like the most value or the most innovation. I know for sure the Create Pack, Trendy Motion Graphics, even the next one I'm about to talk about have just so many features inside of them that I want you guys to sit down, take a look for yourself, determine, hey, do I actually need this? Do I want this? Or is it just gonna even benefit to have the whole bundle like I do? So there's a lot that you can do in terms of mixing and matching. And by no means does this list being from five to one mean that number one is better than any of these plugins in any way. Okay, so I'm glad that we got that out the way. Let's get back into this list. Okay, so number two on the list is this last bundle that I'm gonna talk about, Trust, because it is so stacked and so useful. It just freaking blows my mind every time I touch it. Honestly, if I was to break down everything that comes with this, I could just go on for days about it. Liquid elements, liquid transitions, slides vintage collection, text animation presets, monster transitions, 2D animation presets, 3D animation presets, shape elements, flat icons, a whiteboard maker, 3D devices, and collections for Element 3D. Holy f this thing's stacked, yo. As seamless transitions. It has Sound Effects Pro. It even has a Slides Wedding Collection. I'm talking about the A Juice I Want It All Bundle. There's a pretty fitting name for it because it literally has everything that A Juice has ever made, which is a lot in case you're wondering. Now, I know you're probably like, Nate, this plugin looks super familiar. Where have I seen this before? Well, you probably saw it because it's the ones that we're giving away eight licenses of. Yeah, a little bit more details on that in the card up there, so make sure you check that out. Even the reason why we chose to give away this plugin was because it was one of the ones that has so many things inside of it. That's what I love about bundles. You're able to get not just things that are gonna help you with animation, but even things that are gonna help you with sound, or just even save time when you're doing all kinds of different work within After Effects. So for that reason, the Ajus, I want it all bundle is one of our favorites. Now it is a little bit pricier than some of the other ones, but I mean, take a look for yourself. There's a whole bunch of stuff inside of it. And at a price point of, I think, $1.99 for the holiday deal, but even separated out, it's a thousand plus dollar value. So for that reason, I just love it a lot and it gets a well-earned Black Mixture stamp of approval. 
Okay, so we are here. We are finally at number one on this list. And this is the number one plugin of the year. Now, of course, the best plugin of all has to be one that's free. So that's right. You know, I'm talking about FX console. This is a plugin that since it has released has just been a part of my workflow time and time again to save me all kinds of time shit. <laughs> you know this one is my all-time favorite because it has made a repeat appearance in like pretty much almost every plugin list video now i know i said earlier number one is in no way better than all the plugins on the list but at the same time i gotta say if you haven't downloaded it make sure you download it right now it is free this thing has just saved me so much time i literally use it not just for it. it's really dope customizable and searchable fx like consoles it's in the name of what it is it's like an fx panel that pops up and saves you a a lot of time instead of having to sift through you know the just the way that after effects lets you do it the old way of doing it just do it the new way which is by searching for your effects it saves you a lot of time and then also it has a really cool screenshot feature which i've used on every single video on the channel for this year that puts it at over 70 thumbnails all made using the fx console well-deserved applause to FX Console. It's from one of my favorite developers of all time, Video Copilot, who are also the makers of Orb, Saber, Element 3D. So yeah, you know that this plugin comes from good hands. It's amazingly useful and practically required part of my workflow now. And for that reason, it gets a well-earned Black Mixture stamp of approval. Bam, okay, so we are done with the list. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I wanna know what you think. Are there any plugins that you think deserve to be the best plugins of the year? Who knows, going into 2020, I wanna be able to check out some cool stuff. And I'm excited for all kinds of things that are coming out. I wanna close this off by thanking you guys for being here with us. The growth this year has been pretty amazing. I think we had 480 subscribers back in March, and now we're at like 31,000 of you guys. So it's just mind blowing to be able to have this community, to be able to share all kinds of stuff with you guys. And hope to see you guys in 2020. Here's to another decade. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Doom, 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 dip a doom. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, oh yeah, if you have not done the giveaway, make sure you hop on that. We are giving away eight licenses of the I Want It All bundle. I'm super excited for the winners. Yeah, make sure you hit subscribe. We're gonna be going over that in the new year. You got however many days is left. I think it's like four days left. Make sure you hop on that. Get yourself some free shit. All right, catch you guys later. <laughs>